Finishing the mission, four veterans with life-altering injuries are training to climb the highest peak in North America. Each has attempted the summit, but they were turned around because of dangerous conditions. One veteran lives in San Diego. He tells 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis they're turning to the community to help reach their goal by June. Marine Corps veteran Paul Kitchen is training for the trek of a lifetime, summiting Denali, an unforgiving Alaska mountain 20,000 feet high. Sheeting snow, hitting you in the face like sand, blowing you back down the mountain, uh, stepping through knee-deep, fresh powder, carrying all that weight. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's pretty indescribable. Kitchen prepares by pulling a tire and carrying a pack weighed down by bags of rice. His first attempt two years ago was cut short at 15,000 feet due to severe storms and avalanches. It's a task left undone. It's a feat left unaccomplished. Staff Sergeant Kitchen served his country for seven years. His career was cut short by injury. Permanent lung damage after being exposed to a dangerous chemical, plus a severe knee injury, which resulted in five surgeries and now requires a brace. It's honestly soul crushing. Um, you know, if you do a, a job like that and, and you like it, it, it really isn't a job. It becomes an absolute piece of your identity. But still, Kitchen says he got off easy. Joining him on the climb are three other wounded warriors, Two are double amputees. It's just very hard to explain the psychological effect that going back out and doing something extremely difficult does for you when you've had something taken away from you. Their original funding source fell through, and they still need over $20,000 to afford the trek. That covers travel, permits, and a guide company. These guys left pieces on the battlefield. Only two other double amputees have made it to the top. With the public's help, they hope to make history. It's a challenge that I attempted and failed, and uh, I want to attempt it again and succeed. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. They have served, and now the community needs to help them. We have a link posted on 10news.com to donate. Just click the red button.